What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. Today we are going to be going over 268 missing number on leak code. Um, this has to do with arrays. So the description reads, given an array containing n distinct numbers taken from 0 to n, find the one that is missing from the array. So uh, we know that there's going to be a number missing from the array, we just don't know which one, and we have to find it. So given here this array, um, 301, if we put it in order, we could, my first thought was to put it in order, but that um, takes a long time. I think that's n log n time. Yeah, n log n time, because you have to sort it. Um, that would be easy, because then we could just loop through. But we could also use a hash set. So if we just put them all into a hash set and then check to loop through and check to see that that hash set contains that number and if it doesn't we return that number that it doesn't contain so that's um one solution and then another i'm going to show you guys a second solution is goss's formula so if you guys know a little bit of calculus this is the series basically saying this is the series saying from i to n this is the so n would be the last number so say we have three in the first example 3 times 3 plus 1 over 2, it's going to give us like the sum of the series. So 3 times 4 over 2 gives us 12 over 2 equals 6. And if we just check that quick, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 3 plus 3 equals 6. So we could just have to um, code that into our code. Um, so I'm going to show you guys both those solutions, so let's jump right into it. So for the first one, we're going to do the hash set, so let's create a hash set. Uh, new set. And sorry I've been gone so long, I've been slammed with school, mostly calculus, and just this pandemic thing going on. Um, my motivation's been kind of low. I don't know why. Probably because I don't leave the house anymore. So, so here we're gonna loop through and just add it to um, our hash set. So, new set dot add num, and then we're gonna int count. So we're gonna we have to check plus one. Um, so if we're given a three number array, there's supposed to be four numbers. So we're going to do int count equals nums.length plus one. And now we're going to loop through it. I less than count. I plus plus. And okay, you can still see the code. Perfect. And now we're just going to check if the new set does not contain i, then we're just going to return i. And yeah, that's correct. And if not, if we reach here, we're supposed to return negative one. That's given in our prompt. So let's just run that real quick, just make sure it works. If new set dot contains, I think it's, yeah. Sweet, let's submit it. And that's that. And now I'm going to show you guys the Gauss formula. So let's just grab the length real quick. Nums dot length. And so the Gauss formula is, well, the expected. So the expected sum basically equals length. So it's n times length times length plus one and all that divided by two. Oops. And the actual sum, so the sum that we're checking, is going to be set to zero. And let's do another enhanced for loop. So same thing. 
So for num in nums, we're going to add the sum. So plus equals num. And then we just return expected sum minus actual sum. So what that does is the actual sum, we're when we add all, all the numbers, let me show you guys, I'll whiteboard this out for you. So if we're adding three plus one plus zero, it gives us four, which is our actual sum. So if our expected is six, if we do six minus four equals two, which is the number that was missing in this array. So we just need to return that, run that code. And boom, there you have it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And please subscribe to my channel. I know I haven't been posting much this past week, but I'm going to try and do two or three videos every week from now on. Um, calculus is almost over, so that's fantastic. And I'll see you guys in the next video.